Recording in progress.
Hello, everyone. Welcome. Can you hear us okay? Can you give us a thumbs up oh, if you can hear us all right? Excellent. Smiles and faces. Uh, can you hear me okay? Can I just get a thumbs up? Great, wonderful. Uh, I'm so, my name is Alexandra. I'm so looking forward to our meditation session today. Uh, a few little details to set us up for a great session ahead. If you're wearing any rings or dangly bracelets, they can interfere with your drumming experience, so I prefer taking them off. I'm gonna be drumming from a chair. Preferably, I, I, I recommend a firm seat. You can always sit under cushions and a seat that doesn't have armrests so that you can move freely. We're gonna be dancing from our chair. And for those of you who are comfortable sitting cross-legged on the floor, if you have a frame drum and that's a comfortable position for you, by all means, I want you to find your comfort. So please sit in a way that is comfortable for you. Another thing is I will be uh, doing a short movement practice standing up. You can do this sitting or even lying down if that's better for you. But uh, I recommend uh, just a, a, a small space to move around in. So, you know, where you can just kind of move your body and stand up if that's something that's okay for you. And um, Next, I want to just get us into a really nice meditative space together, go deep into our meditation once we start the rhythm going. Um, it's just so nice to not be disturbed. So I recommend turning off alarms, notifications, letting people know um, that might be living in your space that you want this quiet time for you. So you can set this time for self-care. And um, I, I think for those of you who are new to hand drumming, it's so important to have your own experience. And I like us to do a little tune in at the beginning. And that way we'll do the tune in at the end. And you can feel for yourself how this meditation feels for you. We can read about so many other people's experiences and testimonials about other people's drumming experience or meditation experiences. And really the only thing that matters is how does this feel for you? So let's just begin wherever you are now, find a comfortable position and you can close your eyes or soften your gaze and just turn your attention inwards and just notice how you're feeling. Taking note of how you're doing mentally, physically, emotionally. And I want you to rest in this comfortable space that we're creating together that we will release out tensions or stresses or anything that's weighing you down. You can take this opportunity to release, to let go, to give yourself permission to let go. can open your eyes now if they were closed. And lastly, I invite us all to practice with a curious enthusiasm. Whether you've drummed for decades or this is your first time, we can all bring this sense of curious enthusiasm to our practice. This activates the beginner's mind and it kind of brings an excitement to our practice. And for me, that, that posture or asana that best describes that is when I bring my palms together around the heart center. You can do this with me. And kind of remember when you were a kid and you were like, something yummy is going to happen. Take a breath and breathe that in. Here we are starting the new year together. And exhale and just let your hands go. Find a little bit of a flow. Perhaps feel the sensation of your palms and your fingers. Before we begin our drumming, I'd like to introduce you to our Rhythm Bliss producer who will just give a little technical overview and then we'll get started. Here's Michael. There we go. Hello, everyone. Um, Alexandra and I are honored to be drumming and moving and chanting uh, with you from the ancestral lands of the Squamish, the Tsleil-Waututh, and the Musqueam First Peoples, also known as Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. 
And um, one of the first things that you'll notice is that you are muted. And you're muted not because we don't want to hear from you. You're muted because when we drum together unmuted, there are issues of synchronization and latency that make it really hard for us to follow that grounding pulse, which as you'll learn, um, is really the key to calming our nervous systems, getting connected with ourselves and with others. So we're muted for now. But one way we do want to hear from you is through the chat function. And what we're going to do now is have you um, chat in to us, to everyone. Where in the world are you drumming with us from? We'd love to hear where you are drumming with us. Yeah, New Zealand, Vancouver, oh, wow. Houston, Zealand. the Netherlands, Burnaby, Greece, Brazil, oh my the God, UK, all London, over the UK, New York, all Toronto, over the UK, Vancouver, wow, Island, Ireland. Oh, wow. So as you can see, wow. this is truly a global Sweet. rhythm symphony, and we're so, so glad that you've joined us for this. Now, as for video... You're welcome to step away from your camera. We love that if you keep your camera on, we love to see you. But at the end of the session, we really urge you to come back to gallery view and put your cameras back on because we're going to be doing a rhythm meditation based on the Metta loving kindness prayer. It's a really a prayer for peace and to send out loving kindness. And it's a really wonderful opportunity. So please uh, stick around for that. Mm -hmm. And we'll also get a chance to unmute everybody and have a global rhythm rumble, which is surprisingly satisfying. Yes, so, and today, first of all, I want to say that our boys are here with us. So the first half of the class will be drumming with Michael and I and moving and grooving with the two of us. And then midway through the session, we'll have an opportunity to play as an ensemble with our, our sons that are here. And then we'll do that rhythm meditation song together. Uh, so stick around to the end. And Mike, this is one that Michael uh, wrote, and it's been right. a key song that we've been singing for the last few yes. years. And it's very nice. So, so um, speaking of uh, unmuting your instruments, now is a great time to show us what are you drumming on. If you're drumming on your body or your lap, just give us jazz hands or spirit fingers. Otherwise, uh, if you could hold up your drum or point your camera to your drum, you we can, will yeah. have a look here. And, and everybody see. can put it on gallery view. This is so fun wow, to see, see all the different bays, instruments. We see frame drums. Yeah. And, we uh, see a shikos and tambourines and, and congos. And Wonderful. little djembes and bigger djembes that and, and that bucket drum. Awesome. Beautiful. So Alexandra is not going to get an opportunity <laughs> to give individualized instruction on all of these instruments, but Alexandra will be providing a basic overview on hand drum, which includes the djembes, the congas, the ashikos. Very simple, basic. Very basic. And then on finger drums, which include those Middle Eastern frame drums and yeah. tablas, and then on the lap drum. So yes. with that said, we're going to move over to the movement space for a quick warm-up and a little bio and get our program started. So thank you so much for joining us and Happy New Year yeah. to everybody. All righty. Just going to get on over to the movement space. You can stay seated. I'm just going to, just a quick education of a little bit about my background, what we're doing today, and a little bit about rhythm meditation so that you know where we're going. For those of you who are tuning in just now, my name is Alexandra. I've always loved rhythm and movement. I began classical dance training when I was three years old. And then when I was 16 years old, I went through a really difficult period uh, of depression and anxiety. I had an eating disorder. And it was during this time that I was at an all time low, that I was initiated into the healing power of drumming by Yoruba master drummer, Baba Tunde Olatunji. This powerful experience ignited a passion within me and I began a lifelong journey of studying hand drums. I've studied traditional West African, Afro-Cuban, Brazilian and Middle Eastern drumming from master drummers across the globe. In 2003, I opened a drum school which had the focus of nurturing the joy, the connection and the serenity inherent in hand drumming because that's what had saved me. And now scientific research has confirmed what Baba Tunde was teaching us decades and decades ago. Drumming in a mindful way reduces stress, 
reduces the pain response, improves mood, bolsters immunity, helps to curb out addictive thought patterns and behaviors, and helps to release negative emotion and trauma. With a focus of wanting my students to receive the most health benefit from their hand drumming experience, I began to infuse mindful movement, yoga philosophy, and breath practices that I'd learned as a yoga and Pilates instructor. And what I found time and time again was that students receive the most health benefits from their drumming and the most benefit in general, they felt so much better when they first connected with their bodies. What are their bodies doing when they're drumming? And connected with their breath and the rhythm of their breath and connected that to the powerful beat of the drum. So Rhythm Bliss is a blending of these ancient healing practices that's taught in a way that's informed by my own healing experience and that of my students over the last 20 years. Now for you to receive the most benefit from today's session, there are two critical elements. And the first one is that we drum mindfully. So what is mindfulness? It's such a word we use so much and specifically what is mindful hand drumming? I love to borrow from a meditation teacher, Tara Brack, who speaks about mindfulness like a bird with two wings. And the, both wings are necessary for the mindfulness bird to take flight. And the first wing is the wing of non-judgmental observation. So we're just in it, in the moment, in the flow, as I like to say, without judging it. And the next wing is the wing of loving kindness. We're gonna be infusing every breath, every body movement, every beat with a loving kindness, with a gentleness, and with compassion. So these are the two wings of mindfulness, non-judgmental observation and loving kindness. The second critical element for you to receive the most benefit from today's session, and this is really important, my friends, it's that you modify to fit your needs. You are the boss of you. So for instance, if I'm bringing my arm up overhead and that doesn't feel right for you, then please don't do it. Listen to your body. Also, some of you have decades of drumming experience. So you're gonna use us as a platform from which you can uh, you know, create your own rhythms and improvise over. And for those of you who are just starting out, I'm here to share with you the basics. I love teaching beginner drummers, so you can just follow my lead. But please, if you're starting out, less is more. So feel free to take out notes, take a break, breathe it out, shake it out, move into the rhythm. You don't need to be following me. Follow what works best for you. So we're going to begin now. If it feels comfortable for you, thank you, Michael. Um, beautiful Sansala music that you played there. If you're comfortable standing up, come and stand up. And just look around you, let's orient ourselves. You can do this sitting down. You can even do, a, do this lying down, but just kind of look around, see what's around you. You can send your arms around a little bit and just check into the spaces around you so you don't hit anything. Good, you don't need a lot of room for this. And then you can just relax your feet down. Let's make sure that they're a little bit wider than your hips. Wiggle your toes down. And all we're going to do, and this is just kind of fun and playful, is we're going to do a gentle bounce. I want you to just kind of soften your knees and feel your feet. We're dropping the mind right down to the soles of your feet or whatever is rooting you down on the earth. And just feel that sensation as you begin to unwind, and you can just sigh it out. <sighs> Take a nice big breath in through your nose if you can. And then as you exhale, you can sigh it out. <sighs> just letting go. Let your fingers and your wrists relax. You can bend your elbows just a little bit here. And notice how you can kind of just let your, let your your fingers and wrists be nice and floppy. I think about my dog here in a nice little floppy. Good, just let that happen. So it's very important before we drum that we relax the fingers, the wrists, the arms and the shoulders. Now let your hand, your arms relax down and let's do a little bit of a shoulder shrug. Ha! 
you can close your eyes here. This is a just kind of a kind of a releasing movement, letting go of tension. Unwinding. Ha. You can even ha, let your jaw relax as you open your mouth. Exhale as you make a little sound vibration. You can let it get a little silly. Ha. Beautiful. And then for the last little bit, you can make it a little bit bigger. And then we're just going to come to stillness, standing nice and tall and shift the weight a little bit forward and back and see if you can find the sense of evenness between the heels and the balls of your feet. As you lengthen your spine up, slide your chin in, crown lifts up, 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 relaxing the shoulders down, lengthening in your, the spine, the back of the neck lifts, good. Now we're gonna bring the hands to prayer and we're gonna send the legs out a little bit wider and we're gonna bend the knees. And all we're going to do is we're going to keep the torso, the pelvis nice and nice and neutral. And we're going to take a breath and we're going to lift the chest forward and up. And then when we exhale, we're going to bring the palms together and we're going to sink in the chest. And now the chin comes down towards the hands. Inhale. This is nice for drumming, opening through the chest. And then exhale. We're engaging the abdominal muscles, neutral pelvis, just opening in the thoracic spine. So we're lifting the chest forward and up. We don't need to overly twist or bend the head. And then exhale, sinking in the chest, opening in the space between the shoulder blades. And one more like that. Nice big breath and then exhale. The movement does not need to be very big. Good, and now we're gonna make it, uh, we're gonna take the tail back, chest forward, arms straight as you lift up. Gentle opening for the front, and then now we curl the pelvis under and make a C shape with your spine, sending your upper back behind you. Inhale, breath. Getting ready for drumming. These are nice movements before we drum. And exhale, curl. Inhale and exhale, curl. Finding a flow, connecting to the rhythm of your breath. As we inhale, we open the front of the body. And as we exhale, we engage the front to open the spine, the back body. Inhale, shoulders down. And exhale, curling your pelvis. Last one here. Inhale. And exhale, curl. And from here, you're gonna take a breath and reach your arms up overhead. And then exhale, circle your arms side and down. Good. Inhale, breath, get nice and tall. And then exhale, you're just gonna come in side bend. I'm just gonna take this, maybe take this off, good. Now what you're gonna do is relax. It's not a big bend. You're relaxing that shoulder and a little circle. This is for before we drum, we wanna relax the shoulders. I'm just gonna take this off so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Very relaxed, relaxed jaw. Engaging through the pelvis, there. Inhale, lift up. Exhale the other way and then a little circle. Doesn't matter which way the circle is. And it's like you're relaxing this arm, letting tension from the shoulder, the jaw, ah, softening. Good. Inhale, come back to center. And now you're gonna exhale. The shoulders on the same plane as the hips. You can do the same movement again. Or option two, if it's okay for you to reach your arm up overhead, go ahead here. Option three, you can take the other hand and lift, you choose, it's your side bend. You're opening through the side ribs. Inhale, if your arms are lifted, come to center. And then you're gonna exhale, ha, circle the arms down. Good, inhale, growing nice and tall. Exhale, other way. Option one, again. Option two, lifting up and over. Option three, 
the arm holds. You decide. Good, relax your toes. Inhale, lift up towards the sky, nice and tall. And then exhale, ha, circle down, good. Just take a breath here, palms are gonna be forward. Feel the collarbones nice and broad, shoulders broad, as you slide your low ribs in. We're gonna do just a little breath exercise. It's just so nice to connect with our core. We're gonna be doing that this whole winter long. We're gonna take a breath and you're gonna fill up and relax your belly, bend your knees. And now as you exhale, you're gonna root your, your soles down, palms down, slide your chin in, lengthen the crown up. So really nice and long spine. Good, inhale now, we soften the belly, fill up into the front side and back body. And then exhale, palms root down, shoulders down, chin in, getting tall. Ha. And you're, it's like you're knitting, you're zipping the zipper up. Inhale, soften. Big, big breath. Good. Exhale, we engage the pelvic floor, draw your inner thighs in, and then zip the zipper up as you get tall, tall, tall. Beautiful. And then our last one. Inhale, nice, big breath. And then exhale, engaging, finding the pelvic floor. It's like you're zipping, tightening the belt. Ha. Beautiful. Now you're gonna do a little, we're gonna do a little brain gym exercise as we do a twist. Bring your arms in front of you, your feet are parallel. So I want you to take one leg, doesn't matter which one, and you're gonna send it behind you. It's a little bit of a balance. And now I want you to wiggle the opposite hand to the leg that is behind you. Good, then you're gonna put your, po your pointer fingers out. That hand that you were wiggling, which is opposite to the leg that is behind, you're gonna send that one around and you're gonna follow your pointer finger balancing, good, and then you're gonna bring it back to the center and then your back leg reaches back, coming back to center. Now send the other leg behind you, we're finding those nice core muscles, good, and then the opposite hand to the leg that is back is gonna go around, you're gonna look at your pinky, this is big work balancing, you do as best as you can. Falling over like I'm doing is a good thing because that means I'm using my muscles to stabilize. And then we come back. And we're gonna do that one more time. Good. And then you're gonna send your other leg back. So it's the first one you started with. And then now I'm gonna be looking at my pointer finger. And today, every time I do this, it's a little different. Today I'm noticing that one leg I'm a little bit having an easier time balancing. I'm gonna try the other leg now as I go around. And I notice that that one today is harder for me. Not every day, but it is today. And then I come back to center, good. And now bring your legs out to the sides and we're just gonna do little circles for the shoulders and let it go. Ha, huh. it's fun. We get to try new things. Good, and then circle the elbows. Each time it's a little different. Let's relax the ribs. Good, and then just big circles here. Ha. Nice big breath. And we're creating a beautiful energy for ourselves here. So visualizing here, creating a nice aura around you. Breathing in some good vibrations for this winter session. For those of you in New Zealand, it's summer. Ha. So just beginning the new year, ha, ah, nice and fresh. And what we're gonna do is keep the legs out, take a breath, we're gonna end with three big breaths here. This is goddess pose, reach your arms up if that's okay for you, take a big breath. And when you exhale, you're gonna do a lion's breath. <sighs> Bending your knees over your toes, clawing your fingers, good. Take a breath, inhale. And <sighs> stretch your face, stick your tongue out. And one more. Exhale. <sighs> Beautiful. Finding our power. And now we go to drum. I will see you in the drumming space. So now come to your chair and I'll see you there. We're ready to go. So a little bit of brain gym in those movements, which we're gonna get into with our drumming as well, integrating the right and the left hemispheres synchronizing, very good for the brain, for our cognition. 
So our sitting position for drumming, you're sitting forward in your chair, step one. Whether you have a drum or not, you're sitting forward in your chair. Step two, you want to make sure you're not going to hit your elbows on the backrest. So by sitting forward and doing this, you have a sense of where things are at and you can bring cushions behind your back. That'll help you relax your spine or you can hold your own spine up, but make sure you're comfortable. Comfort is key. All right. If you have a frame drum for this session, unless you have a technique that you already uh, use, you're welcome to do that, but I'm going to invite you to play in a freehand style. I've got my drum on a, on a snare drum stand, but you can always just place your drum between your thighs. Can you see me here? There we go. Like so. The idea is that you can use your hands interchangeably. You can also put your drum up on a, like there we go, on a coffee table or something like that for today. It's completely, I want you to be comfortable, but the idea is that we can integrate it's a great way to start the right and the left hemispheres connecting with the right and the left sides of our bodies. So I'll just have my drum, my frame drum on a stand. All right, if you're playing a djembe and it's a little drum, so the little drums, what, the only thing I don't want you to do is put it on the floor and then lean down while you're playing the drum. You can place it on a footstool or anything to lift up the drum so that you can be comfortable. So bring the drum to you. All right. Let's wiggle our toes and relax the feet down. If you're playing on your lap, you're in a perfect position. So even if you have a drum, if you get tired of holding your drum, you can always stop and play on your lap. And we're going to start with a gentle, gentle rumble. Very, very relaxed in your hands. If you have a frame drum, it's the finger pads. If you have a djembe style drum, you can just relax the palms down. And like Michael's doing, it's all of the hands. Relax your Relax your shoulders. This is about release. Relax your toes. Good. And now take a nice big breath, bringing in that curious enthusiasm. And now exhale and you can just sigh out. Ah. Good. Inhale. Notice how your hands are doing one rhythm. Your breath is doing another rhythm. Hold the breath. Maybe take a little bit more. And exhale. Release. Out. You can even yawn it out. <sighs> and one more breath like this. Inhale, nice and full. Very gentle. Massage your hands. And when you're ready, exhale. See if you can breathe out through the soles of your feet. <sighs> Good. And from here, you can just relax your hands on your thighs. Just listen to this pulse. The sound that you are hearing is the very first sound you ever heard. It's the sound of the first drummer. The very first drummer was a woman. That woman was your mother. We are all born drummers. Uh, hey. For nine months, we felt our mother's heartbeat. And after we were born, we were all comforted by this earth pulse, the grounding calming and soothing rhythm. Mm -hmm. It's the one thing that unites us all on the planet, the heartbeat. Ah, hey, ah, hey, if you'll join me in the heartbeat, heartbeat, heartbeat. You can do this on your lap, like this, chicka, oh, ah, hey. Uh, hey, away. You don't have to think about it, but you can breathe into it. Feel it. Uh, hey, um, heartbeat, long spine, relax your hands. Hey, hey, heartbeat. We're going on a journey, my friends. Imagine that you're out hiking, beautiful big trees surrounding you, a sunshiny day. And what happens? You start climbing a little higher. Uh, hey. Higher, higher, faster. Heartbeat, heartbeat, feeling the heartbeat, heartbeat. Higher, 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 higher. Right, shuffle, take out, take a breath, and ah, amazing. 
So we are all born drummers. We've been doing this since before we were born. And I'm gonna show you two basic tones that you can create on any hand drum and on your lap. I'm gonna be sharing with you the vocables that I learned from Baba Tunde Olatunji, his basic technique called the Gundun Godo Pata Method. And I would just like to take this moment to honor master drummer, inspirator, beautiful, beautiful human being, the late master drummer Baba Tunde Olatunji. And gratitude for him teaching us the Gundun Godo Pata Method as well as inspiring so many of us. Thank you, Michael, for sharing his, his beautiful photo. So the first tone is your low tone. You can create a low tone on any djembe drum, any drum that is parallel to the floor by taking your hand and all of your hand, depending on the size of your drum, maybe a little bit less, is going to bounce close to the center but a little bit more towards you. And you're just bouncing. You can think of your hand like a child and your drum is like a trampoline and you're just bouncing. So let's just start it. We say goon. Goon, 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 goon. Say. Relax that shoulder. If you're playing on a frame drum, you're playing either with the finger pad, you'll notice you'll get a nice little vibration there when you just very, very gently bounce. Notice how I'm bouncing like a child on the trampoline. You can also play with the side of the thumb, a little bit of a twist there. And if you have a frame drum, you can also play with all of your fingers. This is a finger drum. The frame drum is a finger drum. The djembe is a hand drum. Good. Hey, lift up your other hand. Now we switch and good, 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 good. Relax your shoulder and lift your spine. Good, 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 good. Nice and gentle on your hands. Good, good, good. goon, our low tone. The second tone Baba Tunde taught us was the higher tone. It's called the godo. Can you say godo? Godo. Whatever language you play, godo. It rolls off the tongue. Whatever language you speak, it kind of, this one's easy. Godo, godo, go. Godo, godo, go. Godo, 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 go. Godo, 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 go. Amazing. If you're playing on your lap, all you're going to do, here you are playing your goon with your all of your hands. It's very similar to the djembe drum. And now you just take your elbows out and you're going to be playing with the top of the palm all the way to the fingers. My hands are pretty small so for me I'm playing this is a pretty big drum so I have to I'm here. If you have a smaller drum you're going to move back. 
Most important thing, my friends, is that you're playing on the meaty, fleshy part of your hands, not on your little bones. So you want to, your hands are unique, and you're unique, and your drum is unique. So you want to pay attention. Where are you playing so that you are playing on that meaty, fleshy part and you're not playing on your bones? And that's how you're going to get, you're going to use the vibration of the drum to increase circulation, decrease inflam inflammation, and you're going to receive the most health benefits. If you're playing on a finger drum, you're, see the little pads, you can even touch it. The little finger pads, touch, touch, touch there. My, for me, when I move my hands back, usually it's one or two fingers right on the rim. Very gently. I'm, I'm playing so gently. These ones you gotta play really gently. They're a little quieter. Very nice. And here all we say, go, do, go, do, go, do, go. Up the spine, letting go out through your arms. 
be all connecting. All of us together connecting, releasing. Hare Wahe, Hare One more like that. Eyes on me.
Thank you, Michael, for playing the hand pan, for accompanying us with the bass drums and the bells and the chimes. So nice to have that. We're just going to do a quick, quick, quick check-in. Whatever you're doing here, just let's let the hands go wherever you are, whatever position. If it feels good for you to stand up, you can stand up. If it's okay for you to close your eyes, you can close your eyes. I will guide you. I'm just circling the wrists, stretching the fingers very gently, fanning my fingers out, tuning into the sensation, the aliveness. Good. And from here, let's relax the feet down. Feel your feet relaxing down, your sitting bones even on the seat. Take a breath, inhale, lengthen your spine up. Maybe the arms come up with you, nice big tall spine. And then as you exhale, a gentle twist to one side. You're going to cross opposite hand to thigh, and you can bring your back hand in front of the armrest if you have an armrest. So a gentle twist. Good. Inhale, breath, come to center. You can wriggle out your ribs a little bit. And you're just tuning in to the sensation in your body. Take another breath, and we're just going to go to the other side. Michael, if you can just let us finish up here. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Relax the shoulders down, and you're just twisting the other way, lengthening the spine up and wringing out tension in your spine. Good. And then let's come to center. Good. And just circle the shoulders, and just Make a mental note. How did this feel for you? So what we just did now with the rhythm meditation, the drumming portion, was what we do twice a week in our classes, much longer for an hour of just getting deep into the groove with a little movement practice. Now we're going to bring in our boys. The energy is going to change a little bit more. We call this ensemble drumming, where we have more than one part. Generally, this is two times a week we do ensemble drum classes. Uh, very lively, a little bit more advanced in that there's other parts that are coming in, but you get to hear the whole rhythm symphony as it comes together. Lots and lots of fun. So we're lucky to have our two sons with us, Jesse and Benjamin, and they're going to come and they're going to say hello, and they're going to drum and groove with us. They're very playful. This is just Benjamin. He's a, he's, he's a jazz he's a jazz pianist and touring all over Vancouver and actually all over the world. He's pretty much traveled. And this is Jesse who has just started his first year of university and um, we're very lucky to have him with us in Vancouver right now. And we're going to learn a beautiful rhythm called the merengue, very popular in Santiago, Chile, where I was born. And we're going to use this drum and this rhythm as an opportunity to step into the light of the new year and that's what this rhythm is all about it's a transitioning into something new so as we drum we can bring the intention of what we want to bring into this year and we're going to use the word step into the light but we're going to start with the heartbeat pulse so we're going to count it out and then just come along with us we're going to go one two three boom and a two and a three boom boom you have two while you're drumming on your lap. It's, it's fun. You can do two two drums, two hands. Like Benjamin has two drums there. Bringing in that playfulness. Collarbones nice and broad, sitting tall. You can stay right here. Jesse's going to play that heartbeat. Option two. Good, 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 good. Step into the light. Say, step into the light. Ha, ha. Step into the light. Ha, ha. Step into the light. It's a five stroke roll. Step into the light. rhythm zone one, so more simple. You're going to keep that nice, simple heartbeat. Option two, you say, step into the light. And then you play what you say. Step into the light. You start with your dominant hand. And you end with your dominant hand. Find your pulse. Keep going. Whatever rhythm you're playing, keep it going to and kick it. Juicy part. 
part right here. It's the grounding, connects us all, all across the globe. Choose your part, here we go. And Rhythm one. These are your options. I think of this as a green apple rhythm. We think of rhythms as spice. Green apple spice, meaning that it's kind of sweet. It is sweet. Mm -hmm. Sweet heartbeat. Rhythm zone two. So two chili peppers, one to two, is a five stroke roll. And it goes like this. Step into the light. Mm -hmm. Step into the light. Mm -hmm. You're going to choose level of spice that fits for you and there's not one better than another just like a spicy dish some like it spicy some don't like the spice you choose your groove that fits your spice option three three chili peppers oh yeah I feel it oh yeah I feel it
could keep going on all day. These guys are so much to play, play around with. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you all. Connecting to the heartbeat rhythm. I think we have hundreds of people here from all across the globe. I'm sending you love. Ah, hey, ah, hey. And sending peace out to the world. Mm-hmm. And just a little rumble. So here's where we're going to go. Just give yourself that little opportunity. Just massage your heart. Ah, now what we did was like super, they got, they got too spicy. They went to rhythm zone four and five over there. We wanted to just kind of get a little bit of a taste of spice because when they're around, it's just nice to hear the ensemble and what's ca what you're capable of doing and creating with your family and people you want to gather with and drum with. And that's what I'm teaching you in this program at Rhythm Bliss. So I want to tell you a little bit about what our program, what we did today, how it translates to our whole winter season or summer season if you're on the opposite side of the globe. And um, also a little bit about our 40 day challenge and then we are going to do a rhythm meditation together singing and drumming so we started off with movement then we brought the movement and the rhythm to the pulse then we brought the pulse and we played a rhythm symphony a whole bunch of rhythms that fit to the pulse and we're going to end with a rhythm song sending our love and vibrations out for peace um, so, come so on over. Here. yeah so kids don't go away yet you'll sing with us okay <laughs> good okay so we're just going to share our screen here all right and we're going to tell you a little bit about our uh, program. So let me just... Did you get me my glasses? I'm just going to see there. if Michael... Uh, uh, kids, uh, Jesse, do you see on that speaker, there's a set of glasses. I'd love to see them. Then I can see what's going on. Okay, here. so Good. Uh, okay. we really hope that you enjoyed uh, your session. And, and what we do is we have four weekly live stream classes that are year-round. Yeah. And they happen at this time. Uh, at 11 uh, Pacific or the same time as, as this class, they run for about one hour and all the classes are recorded and replays are kept up on the site for at least a month afterwards. And you can attend as many classes as you like. Mm -hmm. And the classes get increasingly uh, spicy as the week goes on from green apple to little spice to two chili peppers all the way to our spiciest class on Sunday. Yes. Tell us a little bit about our Monday class. Yes, yeah, so the Monday class, we call it Suave. It's just really nice and gentle. Everybody's invited to come. It's a stress release class. We do our short movement practice to start. We learn basic djembe, hand drum, West African hand technique, gundum godo, like I showed you at the beginning of the session. We do a little yoga stretch and a gong bath at the end of that class. That is a really great feel good class. All of the replays are up so you can do it in your time. And then on Wednesday, we have a beginner intermediate class where we look at Middle Eastern and universal rhythms mm -hmm. uh, on the frame drum, but there's always a djembe and a lap drum option provided. There's a focus on proper body alignment and breath practices. And at the end of the session, we have a midweek dance party that's DJed by me, DJ Megalito, and we always have a really, really fun time. Yes. Our Friday class is our intermediate session. We are very, very fortunate to have the opportunity to drum with Toto Periel, a master drummer from Atanzas, Cuba, who brings so much beautiful energy and joy and knowledge and wisdom. And we learn about the different Orishas, and which are the deities of the Santeria tradition, as well as Afro-Cuban hand drumming technique. And Lots and, of fun. And then on Sunday, we have an ensemble rhythm meditation, which is sort of like the, the last little bit that we had, where we have we look at different how the different parts um, fit together and the syncopation and the polyrhythm. And there's also some exploration of solo phrases. So some drumming experience is required, but you're always welcome just to show up and soak in the good vibration and follow the pulse. And these rhythms are taught are as taught to us by Yoro Nakusi, a Beninese a drummer from West Africa that sometimes drops by the studio as well. And then we have our Rhythms of Reflection 40-day journey, which is part of your, your membership if you sign up for a winter uh, season pass. And the Rhythms of Reflection is a six-week opportunity running January 22nd to March 3rd to join together with hundreds of rhythm enthusiasts worldwide as we ground in the groove, 
to integrate body and mind while we reflect on the difference between what we have control over and that which we do not and can let go of. And we strengthen our resolve to live in alignment with our highest purpose in 2024. So we really hope that you'll join us mm -hmm. for that because it's an amazing community yes. and it's really special. And we're special. gonna we're gonna get ready now to sing our loving kindness meditation. Yeah. But I just wanna say that Michael is writing a beautiful song about the serenity prayer. So as we practice together, we'll have we'll have a beautiful um, song and rhythm to be able to chant to help us as we guide us on our journey. Mm -hmm. And Benjamin is our music director and he's got a full yes. on studio and we're really yeah. so, so lucky to have him. So, so on that so, note, so we're gonna say the Rhythm Bliss membership includes those four week weekly live okay. stream classes and replays, the Rhythms of Reflection journey, those on demand classes, rhythm meditations and chants like the one we're just about to do, plus lots of movement practices. Okay. And with that said, we are let's going do it. To now yes power. we're gonna just here. make sure you can see us yes see the camera was on us the whole time and let us <laughs> no, no it was shared the screen it was oh so is it shared, shared screen? okay yeah. good as long as we could you yeah. could see that great thank you michael okay i think we're gonna start with our heartbeat rhythm that we started off with at the beginning of the session just that heartbeat pattern one you can sway you can drum you can chant the words may you be safe healthy happy and at ease free from all suffering living life in peace and we're going to begin if you can put it on gallery view this is a beautiful way to start by sending loving kindness to all of us who practiced together in the session sending out loving kindness thank you for being here for sharing in this beautiful special rhythm meditation session together. And you can sing along with us. The lyrics are in the chat. Whenever you're ready, Michael, you can bring us in. May you be safe, healthy, happy and at ease. Free from all suffering, living life in peace. May attention to our friends, our family, our loved ones, sending them out loving kindness. May they be safe, healthy, happy and at ease, free from suffering and living life.
feet. May our circle remain unbroken. Thank you so much for coming, for sharing in this practice. And thank yourself for coming, for showing up. Thank you for being with us. Mm -hmm. And keep your eyes open for an email coming with a replay of this session and a very special offer for you. And now we're going to go to gallery view uh, and unmute everybody and rumble it out. After Come that on. beautiful heartbeat, we rumble it out. You can just okay. kind of circle your shoulders. Michael's going to get us ready for a group rumble. Here's your gallery view over there. Okay, so you guys were in the camera over here. <laughs> okay, everybody, unmute yourselves because we need you. Get, get a shaker. Wait, we need everybody in. Hold on, I'm going to get, I'm going to move over. Now unmute yourselves. I'm going to play the bass drum. Okay, friends, are we ready? recording. Sigali, Swagwag, Kalahindi Neo Cat, Swaggy Sliwagi, Niwaketa Lada, and Ida Oak in Guahuanage, Ani, Bozo, Dante, Okinapi, Hao, Yanko, Yukotonos, Let's go here. Now you can see me. Here we go. So um, that was, uh, I wasn't 100% sure what to expect from that, but I think that that was um, very nice. I felt, uh, especially just at the very beginning, that the whole warm-up process was really good. And um, Faustian, welcome in. Nice to see you. Um, and Yonko, for everybody who was able to join, I hope that you enjoyed that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to post that VOD up so anybody who missed the beginning can kind of go follow follow through it right from, from the start to the end. And it's a, the, the whole idea is to use drumming as a way of, of kind of a therapy in a way. And not only for yourself, but for those around you. Oh, uh, Scissorman, yeah, go for the Risa. Um I'm not sure how much of that you got to hear if you were here. I I know that uh, a lot of people weren't in chatting, so I'm, I'm imagining you were kind of just focused on the drumming, and it was fun. Um, I'm glad that we did that. And um, I, I just found out about that event like yesterday, so it, this was something that was kind of uh, – Spot, spontaneous in a way, um, so but, but I thought from the description, um, it, it felt like something that fit with what we wanted to do here. We want to make this a welcoming community. We want to make this uh, a way of uniting everybody together in a positive way whenever possible. So um, I again, I'll, I'll keep that. Uh, I'll post that vod up as soon as uh, as soon as the. Um, the stream is over so that anybody who wants to go through that process again and i know that there are some people who know how to um capture a stream so if it's something that you feel i'll probably just post it to youtube anyway probably in the next day or two um i think i think our mm, our instructions are that we have to wait 24 hours before we can post it somewhere else. If I if I remember that's still correct, but I will I will post that um, vod as well on my YouTube channel. So if you'd missed it today and you don't get a chance to watch it again um, after the stream, then certainly just keep an eye on um, keep an eye on my YouTube and uh, it'll be uh, it'll be posted there. So, um, with that being said, 
Um, it was uh, just meant to be a short stream, so I'm going to actually uh, get a rendition of the Peaceful Warrior to play, because we always end our streams with that. And I hope that you will stick around, uh, copy a raid call, and come uh, see whoever we raid here. And, um, yeah, 24 hours. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, so I can schedule a premiere, I guess is what they call it, and then it'll just auto it will auto pop when uh when the premiere time comes up so let me go in here now because we're kind of on that vibe of kind of almost a cultural sound with the drums um i think from what I from what i remember the one drummer that is or the one streamer that did something that was very kind of culturally sounding it was electronic but it was also cultural was um uh, amadeus music from germany he did an electronic version but he used a didgeridoo uh vibe to the uh to the rendition of the peaceful warrior he did so i'm gonna actually play his version for as soon as i can find it and um I hope that you like this. And uh, harmonica practice, that'll that'll be something, um, yeah. Um, I haven't got a 100% uh, of what songs I really want to do yet, but, um, but I'm thinking about that. And uh, there's there's a couple of things I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wanting to start working on, which um, I'll leave as a surprise. Uh, for the time being, but um, it's going to take me some time to, to figure it all out. But uh, let me get my mug off the screen. Um, and I, again, I hope you all stick around for the raid. I'm going to play uh, Amadeus's rendition of The Peaceful Warrior. And uh, I'll put the raid calls in the chat when we're um, while we're uh, listening. And then um, I'll look for someone to raid. And it will kind of go over and share some love with uh, with somebody else. And I appreciate again everybody who come in and Scissorman Yanko again for the uh, for the resub. I appreciate your ongoing support of the channel.
my name is Kaluti I'm at a war for peace All senseless attacks I see must see So what am I doing here and what do I want to say Is that this world has to change its way It will be bad Red, white, yellow, black I'll fight for the ones who can't fight back And I'll make my stand with a paper and a pen You want to argue that? Go back and bet again Cause you're never gonna win against what I stand for So sit down, shut up and listen as I give you my grand tour I'm gonna target the corruption in the government I'm gonna target the poison in our environment I'm gonna target the injustice to the people I'm gonna hit every target or oh, I won't keep still I will battle the battle of the battles And I will shake off the cage until it rattles You're never gonna get rid of me not until the problems of the world are cut at their knee Let me nick this one out one more time So crystal clear is the message in my rhyme My name is Kaluti and I'm a war at peace All senseless attacks I see must seize our battle For the ones who can't fight back Someone's got to make the people aware Someone's got to make everyone care So pass the message on if you dare Whether it's mine or yours we all gotta share Because there must power in one man's voice Than all the weapons of military choice So let's put your voice with my voice And we can shout out loud that we belong to the human race And we are proud Then we have cops with hookers in the back seats And we have punk as teens knifing each other in the streets We drug dealers hooking up kids with crack Why there's a lot of shit in the world That's just whack We have men who stand up for their rights and get shot down You better bend down there Just cause we heading into the next round There's no getting through war without losses Lennon, King, Kennedy and Gandhi are all symbolic crosses I said my name is Kyle T And I am head of war for peace All senses attacks must cease But I can move this world all alone So just remember that this is, is also your home. My name is Kaluti, I'm the war rep for peace. All senseless attacks must cease, but I can move this world all alone. So just remember that this is also your home. So if we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. Then people are gonna hear us, and things gonna get better. How gonna get better? Yeah, so if we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. The people are gonna hear us, your voice are gonna shout together. The people are gonna hear us, your voice are gonna shout together. So if you put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. Then people are gonna hear us, things gonna get better. If we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. Then people are gonna hear us, things are gonna get better. So if you put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. Then people are gonna hear us, things are gonna get better. So if we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. Then people are gonna hear us, things are gonna get better. So if we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. Then people are gonna hear us, things are gonna get better. So if we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. Then people are gonna hear us, things are gonna get better. So if we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. The people are gonna hear us, things are gonna get better. So if we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. The people are gonna hear us.
Move your mouth voice with your voice, we can shout together. The people are not gonna use this, it's gonna get better. So we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. People are gonna use this, it's gonna get better. So we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. The people are not gonna use this, it's gonna get better. So we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. People are gonna use this, it's gonna get better. So we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. The people are not gonna use this, it's gonna get better. So we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. People are not gonna use this, it's gonna get better. So we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. People are not gonna use this, it's gonna get better. So we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. People are not gonna use this, it's gonna get better. So we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. People are not gonna use this, it's gonna get better. So we put my voice with your voice, we can shout together. People are not gonna use this, it's gonna get better. So we put my voice with your My name is Kaluiti, and I'm a warrior for peace. All senseless attacks I see must see. So what am I doing here? And what all I may say is that this world has to change its way. All righty. No, 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 no.